Hey folks, how y'all doing? Hey, we're back on the solar on the power on the pole project with MT Solar and Kira Sierra Solar. And we got our we're digging our trench and we got our conduit in. And I can't drink enough water today, I tell you it's warm. It's hot. And it's about 90 some degrees, probably 101 heat degree index. But I pace myself. I've got the trench dug this morning. Um as we see here, trench is dug about a hundred feet worth of trench. I'll show you what I used. Uh, she's good 12 inches in the ground. Got all my conduit together and right here is where your liquid tight fitting will go up into here. I got a 90. I'm gonna run my wire first because it's a whole lot easier running wire and straight runs. It is in a bunch of 90s. So here we go, as far as you can see. Alright. And I'll go to the other end and show you what we got. That's right along the edge of my fence, so I won't be doing any tilling there or any tilling here. Oh yeah, I got my brand new Wolverines on. Durashocks. I used to wear these red wings and I wear these Wolverines that work all the time. I got the soft toe. But y'all, great ankle support. Yep, can't beat old Durashock. Alright. But uh Wolverine Durashock that I did, but here we go. Gonna run some wire here in a minute. Let's take you on down a little walk. Concrete is setting up good, super. But I just got, I couldn't wait. I said, with the weather dry, I'm gonna go ahead and dig my trenches and cover it up and just knock it out. It's cool this morning, like about 75. So I started about, about 8.30 this morning, I reckon. But yeah, y'all, and not, I'm not disturbing the garden much at all. My thing is to go ahead and get this conduit in and cover it back up because I got a dog and I don't want her to fall in the hole. But I'm going to stay a watch out here. All right, here's our other end of our conduit. And it's going right on down the line. And here she goes. I'm going to walk real easy right here. And there's my 90, other 90. I can take that off. It's going to go right here, liquid tight. It's going to go straight there and go up the wall right to this combiner box right here. Bam. In fact, I'll just use these, this string of wire right here, and connect them to it to my, my big panel, a big array that I'm putting up. And that's going to right here and right here. It's all 10. PV 10 dog. You got another lightning ruster here for the ground, as y'all can see. Ground down there. And I have another ground at the other end. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some wire. I'll be back after a while. All right. Hey, I'm back again. I just want to show you this little cobalt shovel I got, y'all. A little trenching tool. It's got a nice fiberglass hand on that thing. And look at the look at the point on that thing. It's got a lifetime warranty too. That thing will dig. I am not kidding you, y'all. Lifetime warranty is price reasonable too. But I think it did the job. All right, and also here's my other cobalt shovel. Got a lifetime warranty on it. That's what I go with putting dirt back. That is a nice shovel too. Lifetime warranty. It's called a drive step. Yep, good to have digging tools. 
All right. Well, we'll be back we'll be back shortly. We'll run some wire. Hey, folks. We're back. I got my uh, wire ran. My PV cable. It's right in there. Right there. Then we got our PV bottom box. We're going up to the bottom of it with a liquid tight connection. Right there. So, then we're going to make hookups. Had to get our breakers in and all that good stuff. She had that worked out pretty good. And she's plumb level. Okay, y'all, that's my combiner box, and we're ready to put the wire in that. You now we're 12 inches deep, so it's going to oxygen the other side. All right, next to the solar shop. Over here is my PV cable. I had one behind the shop, so I get a long length where I can get, where it wouldn't get tight, tangled up. And uh, here she is, right here, the other end. As you can see, got it wired up. And I'm going right over there where that charge controller is at. Give you better. But I, got, I still got the liquid tight and a 90 right there. I, I'll bring it around over here and let you see what's going on. Okay, here's the combiner box. We got a wire right down there. As you can see, I'm running a 90 off that down there. Liquid tight, come right here and go up straight up the wall. And put some MC4 connectors right there. So that'll be it for the hookups. All right. We'll be back in a little bit for some more updates on the wire. Okay, y'all. We got the combiner box wired up. Got a few more steps. I'm not going to hook my PV in. That'll go right down in here for my, my two my two arrays or each each array will go into here. The positives and the the, ne the negatives will go right here. Then my grounds will go right here. Then my midnight solar surge arrestor will come into here and go to the hot and get, one will go to the ground. Okay, excuse me. One will go to the hot up in here. Then when we go to the ground, I'm going to go into the negative. So that's how that works. Alright. Now we're getting our button her up. This goes on first. That's in place. And y'all, it's really simple, y'all. It's got an awesome diagram on here. Midnight solar. And all your panels, as you can see, go into your breakers. And there you see how it goes. Your ground. All that stuff. Negatives. PV negative. Put this puppy on. It just pops right on in place. That's done. There she is. And you can even put a screw in here or a quick, quick latch. We're going to put the screw for now. I'm trying to just one at it. She is. She's done. And down here, I use a some zip ties, electrical ties. Then I use a piece of stainless steel wire, doubled it, put it around my liquid tight. So when that <laughs> when that gets old and sun pops it off, this will still be here. That's a good idea. 
And there we go. That's going deep in the ground. Your foot. I'm gonna cover up the dirt here shortly. And that ties in over there to my. I don't know if I showed you earlier or not, but it ties, liquid type ties into my, my hard PVC conduit. Goes into there. Bam. All the way down the line. Now we gotta do the other end. So, I'm gonna cover it with dirt. We'll be done. Alright. So, it's the second day. I gotta do the same thing sort of the other end. It's a little different. All right, we'll be back some more for some more updates, but that's what it looks like right So I gotta wait a week for the concrete to cure, so I said, whoa, what the heck? Go ahead and put my, my wiring in while I'm waiting. Had that kind of knocked out. All right, folks, back in a little bit. Okay, y'all, we got our wiring in. We got our liquid tight, all ready to get, get to the combiner box. I'm gonna use the MC4 connectors. Put them off of here. And here she is, y'all. Have my old buddy Reese help me. Came back today to help me fill the hole in. And there we go. We're going to walk right on down the line. Well, we got her dug and covered up, tamped down. We got her good. And the garden's all back in place. Safe for the dog to come out of here. And all that good stuff. But yeah, it's right here along the edge of the fence line, like I showed you in the video. 12 inches deep. And going right on down the line. And here's where she comes in at. Right here. And here's liquid tight and the concrete is drying good. It is curing good. So we'll wait seven days. At least seven days, maybe more. Depends on the weather. It's been awful hot. But uh got our combiner box. Still got our stiffeners on there. It's not hurting anything, keeping them stiffeners there. But yeah, y'all, she's coming along. But patience. I'm gonna have plenty of patience because it's been too warm. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up and put and uh, publish this. I got out my old buddy Reese with me. So, yeah, y'all. Well, hey. Uh, thank y'all for watching the video. We'll be back with some more updates. Next thing we'll do, we'll put the Montana solar mount down here. Pull up the chainsaw, put it together. We'll get, make a video of that too, and put the panels up and wiring it. It'll be all be good. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless and supper fi. All right, now y'all take it easy.